Well, hello to all. My name is Daniel Crow here from Brazil, and I am a uh, very uh, excited in using from Air Media products. And I am showing you here how can I um, use the Air Media in 3ds Max to improve the, the photorealism quality with our products. Um, let's start with um, uh, uh, earrings. I'm modeling. I model no Aline Miranda. That is a great geo um, modeling. Make this earring, and I made a render using the normal 3D Max. And once I saw the the, the photorealism, I, I I searched to to try to do the photorealism in argument reality. Uh, 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 very uh, try to make more realistic as possible. So I try to use uh, some some tips, and I will uh, tell you what what can I do, what, what did I make to achieve uh, a, a kind of photorealistic image using argument reality. Also, we don't use the GI uh, in our media, not yet. Huh? So let's let's do it. Um, here in 3ds Max, I have the modeling. Uh, this is my ring. Okay, uh, it's it's a good tip. You optimize your 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 3D to make the point A A C X. Uh, more, more, more light. This, this, this file has 2.0 megabytes. It's really, it's really, uh, it's really a good size. Um, and let's do it. Um, we have so the ring. I make some. I put some omni lights here in the in my scene. As you can see. We have four omni lights that I I convert to metal ray lights using the air media. And what we have to do here? We come here in the Max Script Air Media, choose our marker. I have here a, a, a marker. We go to setup. And here we start with a number larger than one. We start, I think it's it's eighty. So we saw that we see the the, the marker really really big. <clears throat> so what what I make here? I, I I press the show marker and I go here and put one. To 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 decrease the the the, the size of my mic marker. Okay. Uh, I will remove all here, and I we put again. Just to show you how can I do it. Uh, well, I come here, select my sorry, select my objects that I use in for the uh, RR include, and uh, that's it. But what makes real difference to make the the earrings or metal objects looks real? is our setup material. So if we come here in Max um, and take a look my metal, my gold, what I have here? I have here a diffuse core that we have a gradient and it's a mix of gold and silver, we can, we can say this. And uh, I, we have a, spec, a specular level. It's the same map that I use in reflection. In the reflection map, and if you can see, I use uh, uh, a simple a simple job JPEG file that simulates my reflection map. Okay, uh, and that's it. Okay, no, no, nothing more. I don't see. I do not put pump here. It's a metal that we can. We we don't need to see bump in here, but if you if you if you put bump, no problem at all. And we start to see how much reflection we have to put here or not. And 30 is a good 
it's a good uh, value to to make this R E A R sorry uh, if good looking okay so I think that the the main problem here is is set up in the material better as possible we have the stones the gems the gems is the same thing it's a dark one I have a, a kind of opacity and in my gem we have a um, reflection map too okay so I think this is the secret uh, to make the argument reality works here fine <clears throat> so let's make a test here okay we make all the, the, the setup and let's see let's go to view choose my cam just wait and that's me and that's the target it's a really really small one it's 1.5 centimeters and voila and if you saw here we can see the reflections actually really really nice and we can see the earring seems that he's a, a real earring like uh, I, ha I have a real one in my in my hand and it's interesting saw so that the reflection works in full in real time full real time look and I think it's the first good step to make uh, our argument reality photo realistic without using GI. It's a good, it's a good start, huh? <clears throat> so that's it. I hope you enjoy it, and stay tuned for other tutorials. Okay, bye.